Hello folks and welcome. So today's uh, video is going to be about your login screen. How to display your username in this field if you'd like to have that option. Uh, Debian normally doesn't display that for security reasons. Alright, so if you'd like to know how to do that, continue watching. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080 so adjust your YouTube player accordingly. Debian 12 Bookworm XFCE Desktop 418. Alright, so Linux for Seniors is the name of the channel if you'd like to subscribe. If you don't see an icon floating in the right hand corner, go find me on YouTube. Linux for Seniors. Linux is for any age. Lots of videos for you. Now, Gary is our made up name user for today. File system. Did you keep the standard installation? If you did, then you can think about your login screen as like a light. Light DM is the name of it. And we find that folder in the etc. Folder or directory, right folks? All right, type in L-I-G-H-T. If you want to think about that like a light bulb. Light DM is where this configuration file is. Before we do anything, we're going to copy that file. This file is owned by root. It needs to have root permissions to edit this file. So it doesn't do you any good to edit this file while you're in standard mode. But while we're in here, we're going to do the smart thing, which is right click and copy this. And we're going to go and find Gary's document folder. We're going to create a subfolder. We're just going to call it light DM backup. So you know what it is or whatever name you want to give it. All right, so now we have a copy of this thing. All right, so some of you have, uh, some of you folks have done this before and some of you folks maybe not so much. I'm about to show you how to get your file manager in root mode. Be very careful in here, but I'll walk you through the complete process. Again, I would highly suggest you subscribe to watch the video, maybe once or twice so you understand this. All right, if you've never done this before. All right, Gary is our user for today. The name of this computer is Debian 12. So normally you would type in sudo thunar to get into your file manager on most distributions, but not on Debian, because it'll uh, actually reject that. I'll just give you an example of that. Thunar is the name of your file manager. So right now I'm gonna put in Gary's password. And the system is saying that Gary is not part of the su doers file and in there was he doesn't have permission so type in su providing you just kept the standard settings when you installed and put in that password now it says root at debian 12 now gary is in root mode now we can type in thunar and it will open this in root mode all right so a couple of tips for you i can uh, use the old-fashioned way of resizing over here or I can just double click on this nice blue line. All right, I'm using a fairly standard keyboard, fairly standard computer mouse with a scroll wheel, holding down my control key, scrolling up to make them bigger. So let's go find etc directory, etc folder, and light DM, L-I-G-H-T. It automatically lights up the folder, light DM, and we're gonna open that. Four files are in here. Did you already make a copy of this yet? If not, do it now. So again, this uh, is owned by root and we need root permissions to edit this file. We can open this with the one that you have installed called Mousepad if you like. Or we can also open this up with another text editor if you have others installed. I have Kate. Just don't, don't use a word processor. Now the reason I like Kate is because I can do some special things with it like highlighting. All right, so if you're not too familiar with this, you can find this through Synaptic Package Manager and install it yourself. Um, going to the top, line one, I'll make this larger for you. General configuration. The symbol in the United States we call pound. Another name for it is hash maybe. But everything that starts with a pound, most programmers also use this to make remarks but some programmers also use it to block out commands. In other words, not make them active. And you'll find that's the case here. You'll also find sections that have brackets like this, where it says bracket light DM on it. That's a section. 
And what we're going to be doing is we're going to look for a section that has the word seed in it, not this one. That's not a section, that's a command. So we're going to find one that is a section, and that's the section under line 89 here. So this is a section called seat colon star bracket or bracket seat colon star bracket. That's the section you're looking for. In this section, you will have a command called greeter. And you notice that one doesn't have a pound symbol in front of it. That's because I'm actively using that command. This is how your file will normally come. Okay. So to remove these things, we'll activate these commands. So what I'm going to do is point out the fact that this is called greeter-hide-users equals false. So if I remove that pound symbol, that means that it's not going to hide my users. Does that make sense? All right, then I'm going to save this file because that's the only line I need to edit out of all those lines. And I'm done except you need to close all this stuff down and you'll have all kinds of warning boxes. Close all that. Then you're going to go over to the corner and you're going to not log out. You're going to restart. I'm going to say this twice. You're going to restart your machine. Once you restarted your machine, you'll go and approach your login screen. It may have your user already or it'll have the word other. If you click that down arrow key, you should see your user if it does say other. And then click on your username and log in normally. Once you let all the services load, then do yourself a favor, check it out by logging out normally. And when you log out, you should see that that box should be holding your username there. And all you got to do is put in your password. And then you're done. If that didn't work, you follow this procedure. I do recommend that you probably subscribe and keep this uh, for later. So you'll have that at your fingertips in case you have to recreate the user or more importantly, you have to install it on other machines. I just recommend doing that possibly for home use. Constantly typing in your username at home can be annoying to some folks and that's why I did this video. Thank you for watching.